Okay, let's work on improving your algebra skills by practicing graphing lines. And uh, this particular video, we're going to specifically graph this line here, y is equal to 3x minus 5. So y equals 3x minus 5. This is an example of something called a linear equation. It's, actual, it's an actual equation, as you can see. But in, uh, the graph of it is a line. So you absolutely need to know how, you need to, know how to graph uh, lines in algebra and you don't have to make perfect uh, graphs you, you know I would recommend having graph paper but uh, you need to be able to be comfortable sketching fairly accurate graphs as you're not going to have graph paper all the time so that's why I kind of like you know refrain from trying to make super perfect graphs in my videos it's not necessary you just need to make fairly accurate graphs so if you want to go ahead and try this uh, problem I would say go ahead and pause the video Make a quick graph. If you know what you're doing, you could get this done in about all of, uh, I don't know, say 14 seconds. Not that difficult. But again, if you're not sure what to do, stick around because I'm going to explain this step by step in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And I'm telling you right now, all students can be successful in math. So if you're struggling in math, I'm telling you, you could be successful in math, but it requires two things. One, you got to be willing to do the work, okay? So if you're not really working that hard, you have to work harder at learning math. The second thing you need is great math instruction, clear and understandable, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, check out my math help program. It will help you tremendously. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. By the way, if you're preparing for any sort of test, things like the GED, SAT, ACT, anything with a math section on it, maybe like the ASVAB or teacher certification exam, I can help you out. If you homeschool, I have great homeschool, middle and high school math courses that can help you out. And if this video helps you out, consider liking and subscribing to my channel as that helps me out big time. Okay, so let's get into graphing this line. And again, the equation of a line is referred to as a linear equation. So in algebra, we deal with all sorts of equations, quadratic equations, rational equations, radical equations. Uh, but this one right here is what we call uh, a two-variable linear equation. And it's a bigger topic, but we're just going to focus on how to graph these things. And let's go ahead and take a look at our lovely little sketch here. So this is my xy uh, plot, uh, the Cartesian plane, if you will. And you need to know how to graph uh, lines on the xy uh, on, on the xy uh, plane. Okay, so this is absolutely critical, basic algebra skills. Uh, all of you out there taking any algebra courses, you know, uh, going to know you must know how to do this. Okay, so I'm going to try to break this up in a nice, easy um, kind of way. And this is an easy problem. There's more sophisticated problems, but let's take a look at this equation. We have y equals 3x minus 5. We want to consider uh, the different approaches to graphing this line because there's not just one way you can graph this line. There's the best way, and the best way is to use this equation right here, this kind of setup, y equals mx plus b. So this linear equation or this line is written in a very specific form. y is equal to mx plus b. This m is a number, okay, that's in front of the x, okay, the m right there. I'm going to talk about what that means here in a second. And this b is just another number. It's plus b, but it could be plus or minus b. So you can see that this form or format matches this y equals mx plus b right here, okay? And this is probably the most common way to graph linear equations in algebra. Okay, so if you have a line, it's written in this form, we always want to use this. However, there's another technique that you could use uh, to graph this uh, line, and that's always to uh, set up a table of values. You need to know how to do that. So what I would do here is just um, select some easy uh, values for x. So let's say 1, 2, and 3, and maybe even 0. And so I would say, okay, I have these x values. I would plug in 1, for example, into x, figure out what y would be. So, for example, if I plugged in 0 for x, y would be what? Negative 5, right? Because 3 times 0 is 0. So y is equal to negative 5. So 0, negative 5 is a point that's on this line. So I could do a whole bunch of points and then just kind of like plot those points and then play connect the dots. So that's another 
approach to graphing any function in algebra. You can never forget about a table of values because sometimes this is the only way you can construct a nice graph. But when we're dealing with linear equations, you need to um, really understand uh, what kind of form this line is in. And by the way, let me just mention, sometimes you're going to have uh, lines written in other forms, something like this, for example. This is a line written in what we call standard form. So the best way to um, graph this line, notice it's not in y equals mx plus p form, but this line right here, this linear equation, we can easily use the x and y intercepts. In other words, what points uh, the x that this line travels to the x-axis and the y-axis. So I'm kind of deviating a little bit because if you are focused on graphing the lines, you absolutely need to know these other things, whoops, these other things as well, okay? And if you need assistance in any of this um, beyond this video, let me give you a couple of quick recommendations. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel on this topic. Uh, the second thing is all my algebra courses, I thoroughly teach this. And then, by the way, if you need a pair of um, notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. Okay, so let's get into graphing this uh, linear equation or line equation by uh, this right here, y equals mx plus b, which is technically or more kind of um, uh, accurately described as the slope-intercept form of a line. Okay, this is the slope of the line and this is the intercept, but let's go ahead and get into it right now. All right, so y equals 3x minus 5. Again, you can see it matches up with this y equals mx plus b. So this is the slope, okay? So 3 in this particular problem is the slope, and then b is the intercept. So in this particular um, problem, negative 5 is the intercept. But what intercept? What are we talking about there? Well, that's the y-intercept, okay? So that's what that is. It's the point the line uh, intercepts or crosses through the y-axis. So let me just draw you out or write out a quick procedure for you here. So when you have a line in y equals mx plus b form, like we have right here, here is what you want to do, okay? The first thing you're going to do is you're going to plot the y-intercept, which, of course, is the b, okay? The second thing you're going to do is you're going to use the slope okay, which is m to, I would say, get to the second point, okay? You're going to see what I mean here in a second. So you're going to plot your y-intercept, which is one point, okay, that's on a line. And you can see I already have that pl um, uh, plotted right now. Then you're going to use the slope. The slope is kind of like a, a driving directions. You're going to say, okay, from that first point, how do I get to a second point? The slope tells you how to do that. Okay, it's kind of a, uh, again, a set of driving directions to that second point. Then when I have these two points, then I'm going to go ahead and just draw or sketch uh, the line uh, through those two points. Okay, so that is the basic procedure. So let's go ahead and do this now and let's plot this y intercept. So again, the y intercept here is negative 5, means that this line uh, chops through the y axis at negative 5. So you can see here on the y axis, I'm going to go down uh, to negative 5. So I'm just, you know, again, this is not graph paper. But you want to be nice and neat, especially with your scale here. You don't want to be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You want to kind of spread these things out equal distance, you know. So take your time and make a nice, accurate uh, sketch, all right? doesn't have to be perfect, but as accurate as uh, possible. So here's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Now I'm going to plot that point. This is where this line, okay, when I graph it, is going to chop through the y-axis at this point. Okay, so that's my first point, my first location. And if I wanted to get fancy, that would be the uh, coordinate 0, negative 5. Okay, that point right there, right? So let me just erase that. But that's the point that we're talking about. So that's step 1. Now step 2 is we're going to use that slope to get to the second point. And this is where a lot of students get confused. This is where you get this kind of like, hmm, you know, kind of look. You're like, oh, I get confused with this. And you need to practice this, but let's go ahead and walk through this nice and slow so you can do this every time. Okay, so our slope is 3. Okay, it's this number in front of the x, so our slope is 3. 
but you want to think about this in terms of a fraction. So how can I write 3 as a fraction? Well, you can write any number as a fraction by simply putting it over 1, okay? So 3 over 1 is the same thing as 3, and you need to understand that the slope of a line is the rise over the run of a line, okay? So in other words, this is the rise of a line. The run always goes to the right, okay? You just need to know that here. Again, if you uh, need more uh, practice beyond this video, um, uh, I have tons of extra help, but don't let this, don't be, you know, if this video is not enough, go, continue to learn and practice. This is super important. So the run of a line is always to the right. The rise is either up, okay? So from this point, we're either going to go up and to the right, or you're going to go down and to the right, okay? So now here, if you had a negative slope, if our slope was negative, for example, y equals negative 3x plus 7, okay, if our slope was negative, our, um, our, this would indicate that we need to go down and to the right, okay? So if you have a negative uh, slope, you're going to go down and to the right. If it's a positive slope, you're going to go up and to the right. But just remember the run, which is this bottom number right here, okay? So the run is the denominator. The rise is the numerator, okay? So this is going to tell me right here, I'm going to run out. I'm going to go up three, okay, and run over uh, one, okay? So let me show you this now. Okay, so I know this is a little bit confusing, but just hang in there with me. So the rise over the run, what's my rise? It's a positive three. So from this uh, uh, y-intercept point, I'm going to go up three. That's what this uh, slope is telling me. One two, three. Okay, I went up three right there, and then I'm going to go uh, over to the right uh, one. Again, you're going to go up three and over to the right one. So I'm going to go over to the right one, and there is my second point right there. And if I want to be really careful about it, what coordinate would that be? Okay, well, it's one on the x-axis, and I'm down here two, right? One, negative two, because this is negative one, negative two. I went up uh, one, two, three, uh, starting from uh, negative five, right? So you, sometimes you need to list those coordinates, but these are the two coordinates right there, okay? So let me go ahead and erase this. And our last step is easy, and that is simply to just go ahead and sketch a nice little uh, line through those two points, and you are done, okay? This is how you uh, graph this linear equation what's in when it's in slope intercept form and you're going to have to practice this because there's all sorts of scenarios things like this y equals uh, two thirds x plus one you could have fractions in here so this is a pretty easy problem but hey if you got this problem right if you're like yeah mr youtube math man i already got this uh, right i knew what i was doing well let me go ahead and give you a nice lovely happy face an a plus 100 percent matter of fact i'm going to give you a few stars now i'm not going to tell you to take the rest of the year off because this is a pretty easy problem there are more challenging problems but hey if you got this right and you know what you're doing, you definitely deserve a happy face uh, for, um, you know, you know, paying attention in your math class, okay? But again, this is basic algebra, okay? It definitely gets much more interesting th uh, than this, but let's make sure you get the fundamentals down and graphing lines when they are in slope-intercept form is an absolute fundamental in uh, algebra, okay? All right, so if this video uh, helped you out, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. I have a ton of additional videos on this topic in my various playlists on my YouTube channel. Of course, if you really, really want to thoroughly uh, uh, learn this, I would say uh, if, uh, if you're in pre-algebra, I teach us in pre-algebra, but this is really gets you know um, much more comprehensive and let's say in like an algebra one. And there's a lot to learn about linear equations, uh, word problems, et cetera, in algebra one or algebra two or pre-calculus, uh, pre whatever, college algebra. I have all those courses. All you have to do is just go to my math help program, which you can find by following the link in the description of this video. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this up by saying my favorite phrase, and that is, I wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.